Today, I made a list of things. Uh, these are tips on what to do in your next visit to your pedia during this pandemic. So either you're going there for a routine checkup or um, immunization, uh, these tips are helpful for you. and welcome back to my channel today is a bit stressful day because we are going to the hospital due to Kara's scheduled immunization um, I think it's Japanese encephalitis or vaccine or uh, MMR I forgot uh, but this was scheduled two months ago na delay lang siya because we opted not to really go to the hospital to, to avoid exposure of um, COVID-19. Her pedia told us that it's okay, it can be it can be delayed. It's more harmful na i-expose siya sa possibility na na ay COVID-19 sa iyang surroundings than missing the vaccine. But now we realize na uh, even if there is this pandemic, life must still go on and other viruses won't stop because there is a uh, because of the existence of COVID-19 so um, we should really have her vaccinated because of the uh, the presence of other viruses and other diseases right but of course um, we will do precautionary measures uh, I will be wearing a 95 mask and goggles and Kara we will let her wear a face shield and a mask. Fingers crossed. I hope she can wear the protective equipment until we're done. So, let's go! Yesterday was Kara's visit to, to her pedia and I'm so sorry we weren't able to take a documentation of what happened yesterday because um, as much as possible we wanted to um, uh, we wanted to make the visit as fast as we could and I intentionally leave my my phone inside the car to avoid cross contamination you know I don't uh, I'm not so sure if makahawig ko something na nahugaw inside the hospital and then, and I will hold my phone then hold to, hold kay Kara so I want to I wanted to avoid that as much as possible. Today I made a list of things. Uh, these are tips on what to do in your next visit to your pedia during this pandemic. So either you're going there for a routine checkup or um, immunization uh, these tips are helpful for you and also um, I will tell you if going out for an immunization is worth the risk or not so the very first tip is always book an appointment you can call your doctor or his secretary to ask for an appointment so that she can give you the time slot and then um, so you will know when to go uh, when to go there. Booking an appointment will avoid crowding the place or crowding inside the clinic. Also, to save time and effort in going there. You do not know if uh, the clinic ba inyo ang pedya or wala. In our case, ang, ang among pedya, uh, the clinic lang siya every Wednesday. Uh, it's for the, it, it's for vaccination. Wala pa siya gadawat of consultation during this pan pandemic. Tip number two, be physically and mentally ready so um going to the hospital is a bit stressful because of the ongoing pandemic you should prepare yourself take vitamins drink plenty of fluids eat fruits and vegetables 
to boost the immune system. A third tip is to prepare a list of questions or a list of things that you want to ask from your doctor. Make the visit as fast as you can uh, to save, uh, to, to, to avoid longer exposure. Also, do not forget to ask your doctor na, Doc, in case of emergency, unsa na number, asa ko na number pwede makatawag directly sa imo. So, tip number four, prepare a protective equipment for you and for your child. So, if you have uh, especially mask and goggles, or if you have face shield, you can use it. But we should remember that kids, especially kids below two years old, are not advisable to wear masks due to the risk of suffocation. But if you really insist that you want your child to wear masks, uh, make sure to never leave them unattended, especially if they have breathing uh, problems, if they're asthmatic. And also observe their breathing pattern. Uh, if time comes that uh, they will experience difficulty in breathing, then remove the mask, in a, uh, then bring him or her in a safe place, tao, and then well ventilated, take off the mask and then allow him or her to breathe. Tip number five, try to dry run at home wearing the mask. Uh, your child might hesitate to wear the mask because it's very uncomfortable. But if you really want your child to wear mask, then um, at home, try to practice wearing the mask and then make sure that you are wearing mask also so your child can mimic wearing mask. Tip number six, inform the secretary of your doctor that you are on your way. That is to give them time to prepare as well. Also, you can ask her if it's possible for you to just wait inside the car at the parking lot and we'll just wait for her text or call when it's your turn already. If you don't have a car, then find a well-ventilated place near the clinic uh, and then wait for your turn there. You can ask the secretary to just call or text you when it's your turn already. That is to avoid overcrowding the clinic. Tip number seven, use the staircase instead of an elevator. Um, people inside the elevator tend to be so close to each other and we want to avoid that as, as much as possible. The next tip is bring only the things that are necessary. So what are the necessary things that you should bring in going to your pedia? Uh, your child's booklet, your money, and if you want to bring your phone, then bring them, but make sure to sanitize them afterwards. We want to avoid cross-contamination. We don't want to transfer the microorganisms inside the clinic to your belongings, right? So as much as possible, bring only the things that are necessary tip number nine avoid crowded areas if there are so many people waiting inside the clinic you can ask the secretary if it's okay to wait for your turn outside and if you happen to meet someone or if you happen to know someone during the during the pedia visit as much as possible maintain social distancing tip number 10 Wash your hands as often as possible or sanitize your hand as often as you can. Avoid, uh, avoid touching unnecessary things when you're already in the hospital because we want to avoid cross-contamination and we don't want to bring the viruses or other microorganisms from the hospitals to our home. So make sure wash your hands properly or sanitize your hand as often as you can. Tip number 11 is very important, presence of mind wherever you are. Always remember that the virus is just around us and especially when we're outside, we tend to be relaxed because we see people that are relaxed as well. So make sure always be mindful of the things that you touch be mindful of the people that you talk to be mindful of the things around you to avoid catching the virus or to avoid bringing the viruses in your home and tip number 12 leave the hospital premises as soon as possible when you're done do not anymore linger in the hospital 
go home. We don't want to have long exposure outside. So if wala na tayo tuyo sa gawas, make sure to go home as soon as possible. And the last tip, when you arrive in your home, make sure to sanitize all your things and take a bath. If you have an area outside your house where you can take a bath, that is much better. And use clean clothes as you go inside the house. You can soak your clothes in a bleach solution and let it stay there for a night and wash it the day after. Just make sure that you already you have already taken a bath before you go inside your house. And you have already sanitized your things outside, not inside your house. If it's worth the risk going to a clinic or going to a hospital or rural health center for the sake of immunization, yes, because you have to protect your child from other viruses or other microorganisms that might cause them to get sick. We have to take in mind that other viruses won't stop just because COVID-19 exists. It's dengue season, it's flu season, you have to protect your child. There is varicella that can cause chicken pox. There is measles, there is dengue, there is flu. So you have to protect your child from this. You have to bring them to a hospital or rural health center uh, to be vaccinated, but make sure to practice precautionary measures to protect them also from COVID-19. As regards to COVID-19, make sure to protect your child and do all the necessary measures. And also, it's very important for us to stay at home. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget Get to click that notification bell icon beside the subscribe button so you won't miss my next video. Once again, this is Melai. Thank you so much for watching, guys. See you around. Stay at home. Bye.